Hi everybody, this is Brian from X Bikes, and it is Christmas. Uh, look what came today. I have been waiting, oh, about three weeks for this, but that's my motor. Um, courtesy of Powerful Lithium uh, and V. And uh, it's just, it's not just a regular MV power motor. I've had a few customizations done to it. If you have watched some of my other videos, especially the one where I did the 0 to 50 speed test and overheated my motor by doing multiple, multiple uh, practice runs, uh, that's not gonna happen anymore. And I've actually had this box or this, uh, I picked it up first thing this morning and I had to wait for my wife uh, to get home because she had my cameraman. So I've been uh, waiting what, for like six hours to open this thing. So we're gonna open it and uh, See what we got here. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, this is like Christmas for me. Look at this. Holy moly. Okay. So here we go. And you will automatically or a C uh, oh some I'm, I'm sorry everybody I'm just he didn't uh, pump up the tire so I was like oh my god did he put the wrong size tire on it I had him install the tire because I didn't want to do it myself but uh, he got the tire on there and the modifications that I had on it that you might notice is these fins, that's one of them, that is a hub sink. And inside the motor is a uh, stator ring. And it's a ferro fluid, which is a magnetic fluid that now if you've ever seen the inside of one of these hubs, you got your stator and then you got uh, you know, and the magnets, and then you got the magnets attached to the hub, and there's a little gap, little gap, and uh, with air. So the air kind of insulates the heat, traps the heat in there, you know, just like a thermal cup or something like that, and has a hard time dissipating. The stator which is a ferrofluid, it's a, like a magnetic fluid, right? So it goes in between these magnets, and uh, I guess the best analogy for this is a computer, right? A CPU. You got the thermal paste on top of it and then you have the heat sink, right? And the heat from your CPU will go into the thermal paste. It'll draw, draw, draw it out. And since it's connected to the heat sink, uh, it goes up into the heat sink and then the air, the fan blowing on it, dissipates the heat, draws it out of of the CPU and that's basically the same thing this does so you have this ferro fluid that that fills the gap in between the two magnets and uh, draws the heat into and out of into or out of the uh, hub and into the, the heat sink and up into the fins and then the air as you're riding around uh, dissipates the heat so no more overheating and if you would like to know more about the uh, barrel fluid and all that, you can just go to on YouTube and there's plenty of videos on it. But uh, anyways, yeah, here it is. And it's awesome. And I cannot wait to get this on my bike. Uh, all right. Uh, the tire that he sent me does not match the one I bought. Um, I noticed it right away. <laughs> As soon as I opened up the box, but I just kind of played it off for the sake of the video. But now we're going to talk about it. So yeah, the uh, the uh, 
tires do not match. He ended up giving me the 740. Uh, fortunately, it's the right size, so it's going to work fine. Uh, the decision I got to make is do I change the front or the back? Um, since it's so much easier to change the front, um, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to match the one he sent me. I already ordered it. It's on its way. So uh, the other issue uh, is when I was uh, taking the wires off the controller, it appears that two of the wires have like welded or fused or welded to the controller. Um, so I had to actually clip them to get them off, to get the motor off. And when I called B about the tire, I told him about that and what would be the best way uh, to uh, attach the wires. Um, I, it makes me sick that I would have to uh, cut uh, the wires on the new motor to attach to it. But there it is it's going to be an ordeal to get the uh, wires off the controller because uh the screws aren't well they're they're screws they're not bolts right so they're round i can't get any i will have to drill them out and yeah all that so uh, i was just thinking of the easiest way and and you know if i got to do that i got to do that right um, so one of them did come off. So I was talking to V about it and he said, uh, over at, uh, powerful lithium. And he said, uh, I asked him, should I cut the third wire? And that way they're all attached to the same, either a butt connector or, or uh, solder. And he did not like that idea. Uh, he says, yeah, it probably will work. But there's a chance that you're not going to get it just right. And this, you know, there's three phases of the motor, and each of those is a power connector and pushes the motor a third of the way, a third of the way, a third of the way. And if they're not all right, he says it could damage the motor. And uh, he said, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. He goes, What's, what kind of controller you got in there? I, got, I said, I have an unlock 150 Sabaton controller. And he goes, I'm going to send you a brand new 200 amp Sabaton controller. I was like, wow. I mean, that's not cheap. Uh, okay. Um, that kind of solves my problem. Um, he says, send me the 150 and I'll deal with it. And wow. Um, <laughs> that's, that's really cool. So uh, it should be here in a few days. But now I have to re uh, take the old one off, take all the wiring off. Oh, it's going to be a nightmare. Uh, it's going to take a while because I work, so I'm going to be, you know, doing a little in the evenings. Um, I got to pretty much take half my bike apart to get to it. So it's, uh, but still better safe than sorry. So it's worth it. Um, so this was going to be a unboxing install video. So it's pretty much just going to be an unboxing. And when I get the... Uh, everything installed on my bike, which will be next week. We will do the install motor, uh, controller, and test ride video. Um, in the meantime, um, I'm working on my wife's uh, battery. It's pretty much ready to go. Um, that will be in another video, probably uploaded at the same time as this one. Um, so look out for that. But anyways, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, it looks like it's just an unboxing video today. And uh, uh, next week or the week after, uh, I will upload the uh, finished product and test ride video. Bye.